Today, we're going to talk about volunteer recruitment and how to get the right people in the right spot for the right amount of time and some methods to go about that. So this is going to be particular particularly helpful if you are just starting out, but these are patterns to adopt, even if you've been in youth ministry for a while. So I kind of identified the four places that my volunteers come from. And I didn't set out for this. This is just what I realized has happened. So number one, the largest percentage of my volunteers currently are former students. So that is the beauty of being in youth ministry for a long time. All of a sudden it hit me like, oh my gosh, I've been in it long enough that I get to have my former students come back as like legit adults. I know some people feel weird about having high schoolers serve in their ministry. No, these people are like married. <laughs> some of them or engaged. So most of them or all of them have graduated from high school. I have a couple seniors okay. serving right now as co-leaders. So mostly like over 18 probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the unintended beauty of them is they will bring their friends. So that's number two. So maybe they weren't my former students, but they are friends of my former students. Mm -hmm. So my students, now adults will start serving and then they'll invite their friends like you should come check out this youth group on tuesday it's so fun da, 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 da. and then they'll do recruitment for me mm -hmm. the third place they come from is some rock star parents so parents of students and one cool thing is some of the parents are so sold out on what we're doing in the ministry that they stay even when their kid like graduates and goes to high school. Cool. I have a couple of those. And then the fourth one, and this is actually the smallest percentage at the moment. There were times, mostly when I was just starting out, that this was the biggest percentage. And that was my own personal friends. <laughs> <gasps> and that's how Jeff got here. And you might end up marrying one. So, you know. Be careful because your volunteer oh. might fall in love with you. <laughs> This guy, I, I think having a high percentage of former students, if you're just starting out in youth ministry, that's not realistic right. <laughs> for obvious reasons, right? So you, you'll those percentages will change for you depending on how long you've been in youth ministry. But one of the worst ways possible to recruit, but the most tempting way to recruit is to do the big ask. Maybe if you work in children's ministry, I would say the big ask does work to fill those spots. Mm -hmm. But once you get into even like, I'd say fourth, fifth grade, anything like with like small groups, that's supposed to be a relationship, life on life. It's no longer can be just someone standing up there and telling the Bible story and then passing out the craft. Like it has to be the right person to relate to that age group. Mm -hmm. So that big ask, like you've seen it at church, right? right. Like or what, fill out a comment card if yeah. you're interested. And, yeah. and, and then they'll get up on stage and do some big recruitment push and whatever. Again, we have great success for that for our children's ministry. The other one that's horrible. Well, not I mean, to stop you for a second, not that you can't find good volunteers that way, but you really are not handpicking them. Mm -hmm. And I think that's probably what you're getting at because the other ones you mentioned, former students... Well, maybe not friends of former students, but former students, rock star parents and friends are all people that you kind of know. Right. So you can sort of say like these people know the ministry or you know them well enough to know if they're going to fit. Right. Yeah, exactly. But that really like tempting thing to just like, Hey, calling all right. volunteers come and fill a card. Cause we've done these things, you know, where we call them like a volunteer fair. Yeah. And for some positions, that's great. We need ushers. We need greeters. We need this. But when it comes to, again, that life on life, there's just something missing and not that you, I mean, out of maybe 20, you'll get one mm -hmm. who actually is the right fit. Not that they're bad people, not that there's something wrong with them by any means, but there's just a certain chemistry yeah. that you need. And that I have found year after year that usually doesn't come from a big ask recruitment or volunteer fair. It comes through like what you were saying is, and here's our big word is that recruitment is relationship. Mm. So write that part down or just remember that recruitment is relationship. And that 
is a lot harder because that is going to take some time. So to do a big ask, you're you're maybe going to get four or five cards and you call people like, Hey, you want to come check out my youth ministry? You know, that is a little bit more of immediate results, especially if you're new, you're probably just like desperate, like get me some people to help me out, Mm -hmm. you know, but that is the desperation. You will always make a bad choice. Like you have to be patient and wait for the right people because why we guard the gate Yeah. because this is not just a warm body in your ministry. These people will with or without your permission, design your youth ministry culture. Mm -hmm. So you will do it, but you're one person. And so what, who are these people? Well, Um, they are representing your ministry and you. And yes. When you bring them on. Yes. So if you don't know them well or if they don't know you well or how things work, then that can be a problem. And there's been so many people that I've like met that it's like, God, you're such a great person. You love the Lord, full of integrity, character, all that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. And here's the hardest part to find. It's not, it's not necessarily good character. It's good chemistry. Yeah. And that's the hardest thing to find on a team that like you guys share the same kind of vision, vi- vision. And and vi- exactly. And, and it's very palatable when it's there or not there, mm-hmm. you know? And so my encouragement to anyone new or struggling finding these volunteers would be know that recruitment is relationship. 